looking at the decision-making processes that have real impact on employees' lives, things like how promotions are decided, how pay raises are decided, how hiring decisions are decided, look at those decision-making processes and start to notice places where bias might creep into that process. And then look for opportunities to systematize that decision-making. So in most organizations, probably all organizations, and in most of all of our lives, there are lots of times that we make decisions based on what we think are objective criteria, but are actually kind of our, our general impressions or our changeable criteria. Um, so any organization can identify decision-making processes that are ripe for bias and then start to st systematize that decision-making. So start to think about, okay, what are the criteria we can all agree on are important in order to make that decision? So that's step one. Step two is I would say, make the, try to make that as transparent as possible so everyone knows how those decisions are being made. That'll accomplish two things. One, it'll actually start to decrease the bias that goes into those decisions. And two, it'll give everyone in the organization confidence that the leaders are actually working on this and care about it. And that has all sorts of downstream consequences. I mean, it improves employee engagement. It makes employees feel more trust. And these have really positive consequences too.